So humid. Get it. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Right, we're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet, let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Just as we planned. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. I can feel it. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. We probably shouldn't bother. By the way. <laughs> hmm? Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. No. Oh. Hmm.
What's up? We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place.
Hello? Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh, you're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Oh, uh... It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Mafia we're looking for. We should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. Number. Hello, this is Nijima. Mm, 
Makoto, Nijima. Thanks for earlier. I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. Been searching all along. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Hide in both face and mind. All free for you to draw. I'm a chef chef What else should I be? Hey, hey! Take off my mask. Revealing Jeez.
Now then. So, we meet again, but my what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Matarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? To be blunt, neither do I. There's just not enough material to form any concrete thoughts. However, I'm positive they'll soon target someone who will garner even more attention. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Anything? God, they suck. And we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that Mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it?
Hey. Mm. You got time right now? All right then. Makoto? <sighs> hey. Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry.
Hello. <laughs> May I get a word in? Yes. What is the matter? <laughs> Let's go. Seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Sooner... My picture turned into a real skill card? Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome the slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the Thebes we are and strike a deal? It's a deal then. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. 
I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am the... It shall become the wings of... With the birth of the Emperor... We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. I'm in your debt. Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. <laughs> That's a spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district, okay? You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. You're in your uniform? People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide ya. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time! Is this really going to be okay? Sure.
Whoa! You have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Yep. Uh, people mistake us all the time for younger kids, though. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Oh, wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Shit. You kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot! This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea! Let's run! How much longer until we get there? I excuse me? For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Come uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Whiskey, wine. Going in our uniforms? I came. Ugh, fine. What is it? Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lalachan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Son, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know?
Oh, why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal, then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Just have to go back the way we came, huh? Wanna head back? We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palette. That was surprisingly easy.
You guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. Mm. Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Ah. Oh. It's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? I see. Candidate found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then. What location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible, but you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, 
Let's go.